Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Devil Games here, playing some more Monster Hunter Ultimate 3. And we actually spent a ton of time the other day. Um, actually, during Twitch, I, I did it all on Twitch, um, just farming and listening to rap music. <laughs> it was actually pretty cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of rap music, so that was fun. I was just farming every now and then talking about what's going on. But mainly, you know, just letting the game and the music play. It's a lot of fun, actually. I might do that more often. It's way more chill. I don't have to pretend, you know, to be upbeat or whatever. I'm just kind of chilling with music and farming. It was fun. So, anyways, um, the result of all that, and it took a very long time, is we got a new hammer. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what it does. So, I got the prowess attack one. And as you can see, that's just loads better than what we had before. Like, we had, I believe it was 520 damage. A little bit of green sharpness, and that was it, right? This one's got a ton of green sharpness, a pretty good bit of yellow, and uh, 624 damage, and 104 prowess attack, which is really nice. Um, that means we'll be able to kind of lock them down easier, so I can get more headshots and work up, way up to like more KOs. So I think this is going to be nice. Um, you know, I may just go ahead too. When I was doing farming, I was getting a ton of like um, the upgrade orbs, so I might as well just use them on my armor. Um, just to make things easier. I mean, why not? Well, maybe not a ton, but I have nine. I guess that's pretty good. What would that put me to? So if I'm at... Am I at 16 now, or is that what it will be? 16 defense. Yeah, I don't know. They don't really... At least that screen I was on didn't show me the comparison. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here we go. So it goes up by three. It's not bad. It's like, what, 25%-ish? Take it. I can even do it further. Interesting. I mean, I do remember in the other games having the Reno Plus armor almost throughout the entire game. So, um, that's hilarious, though, that I'm having that same situation using the hammer. Like, what are the chances that it has both the um, artillery and knockout? I guess maybe that's what Gunlance does, but... And I'm sure maybe I'll find better armor in the future that has, like, maybe weakness, exploit, and knockout. But for now, I think we're going to stick with this. And I think we're okay, too, with just one armor upgrade. I mean, I do feel like I might be rolling in them later on, so let's just go ahead and do it now. I guess there's no reason not to. Let's just spend them. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And this will make this fight, you know, that much easier. Like, I mean, basically what it'll do, it'll free me... Oh, I'm out. Okay. It'll free me up to be more aggressive, right? Because I don't have to worry about taking a ton of damage. And I don't I don't think I mentioned it. Yeah, I think I did. We're In this episode, we're going to be going after the Gia Crust again, but this time capturing. Which I think will make the fight easier too, right? Like, um... I'll be able to cut off that back half, the part that I usually blow, because I think they're about to die and they aren't. Uh, let's see if I can make though another trap in case for some reason I screw up. And then, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention too is um, I did a little bit of research, and by a little bit I do mean a very small amount, uh, trying to figure out what happened to Chacha. Apparently, it's part of the story. I didn't I didn't read like, you know, when he comes back or anything, but apparently he's gone for story reasons. So that's where my little fellow's at. It was just so weird because I just literally like chastised him and then like he was gone. And I was like, oh, oh that, that feels bad, man. Uh, let's make two traps. We'll probably only bring one just because um, you get one in the in the actual quest. But you know what? I think it's called something different, so it may not take up the same slot. Alright, we'll bring two just in case. Uh, let's see. Uh, how are we on potions? We definitely need more. Oh, I didn't check my farm either. So I did a whole bunch of, um, bunch of farming. I, I farmed Gobel. I think I had to kill Gobel like four times. The crew of Peko like four times to get this. And then, and I'm not exaggerating when I say four. Oh yeah, I did a lot of the farm quests too, because I had so many materials. So I was just chilling. Again, listening to music, banging things out. Uh, we got a lot of upgrades. Let's see what he's got to say. Hey, would you look at that? The last one of our felines, sweet, has come back. Now the farm is back to full capacity. 
If I ain't seen it, please, uh, the hunting and trading has gone back to normal. Let's hope nothing spooks them. Just bring us the herb or seed you want to cultivate, and then the felines will grow them while you're off questing. I know. Now go say hello to the feline that just come back. Might as well shake the paw that'll be all over your crops. Well, now the farm's fully manned and back on its feet. I guess I can finally take a load off of mine. Whew. Okay. We need to talk to him? The cat? There he is. Yeah, honestly, I'd rather gobble down meat than vegetables. But I'm just a big old clumsy paws. I can't catch fish for myself. Okay. That's why I work here on the farm. I've yet to let a veggie get away. Cool. I bet you didn't know we felines are sensitive to earthquakes. It's because of the pads on our feet. That's why I got spooked and ran away. Let's pretend it didn't happen, yeah? Anyway, I'm a good worker. Good enough, anyway. I get the job done, okay? Is it break time yet? I could use a cat nap. Uh, Chewie's a good name. We'll keep your name. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can make for him. I know I definitely need to pick up stuff. Yeah. How many of these? Uh, seven per, per node here. That's a lot. Cool, we got a lot of mushrooms. How about honey? Only three per thing? Four? Two? Yikes. Alright, let's cultivate. Um, I mean... I think we just need... Oh, you know, I shouldn't have used my last lightning bug. Because I do need lightning bugs. Let's do two honeys and uh, one blue mushroom. Because, again, getting potions is no sweat. I can just go buy them. But, um, mega potions, I still need honey. Like, a lot. Let's do that. Oh, uh, wait, what's going on here? Oh, I don't have enough points. Oh, wow. Man, points are weird. All right, we can fix that. Hold on. I think po points are from doing, like, general, like, hey, I'm going to go out and just do a quick... Man, what do they call them? I have to look it up. The harvest tours? That's what it is. Yeah. They have, like, these harvest tour quests for each uh, area. And when you do we kill things, you get points, that kind of stuff. But I think also you can come in here and sell some stuff for points, which is I found to be the best way. Like here, like this quality sponge is worth a grand. How many do I have? Oh yeah. Do I have three? No. Wait. Huh. This will earn you two thousand points. Okay, yes. There we go. We're good. See, that's like way better. Cause like when I kill a monster, like I would kill him great jaggy and it'd be like 150 points where this one item just got me a grand which is kind of nice all right let's cultivate uh you know i'm starting to wonder if i even need um blue mushroom because that's what you use to make the potions but then you know i'm not making potions i'm just buying them so maybe just go all honey all the time I'm okay with that. Alright. What else do we gotta do? I think the pack should be nice and clean. Yep. We got Trank Bombs. We'll get some in the mission too for capturing. I think we're good. Let's see how much better this hammer performs. That's what I'm curious to see. That's kind of the, the joy, I think, of uh, Monster Hunter is creating new weapons and seeing if it'll be even easier because all the fights are pretty hard. And so you're like, oh, I wonder what this is like if I get this weapon or, you know. And also it cuts down on, like, farming time. Because you have a better weapon, you can kill things quicker, which then gets you more materials to make better stuff. And it's just this endless loop. Well, not endless, but you know what I mean. Alright, sorry. I'm gulping down some coffee. I need to look up what that gray thing above his head means. I'm sure the colors mean something. I think it might be the type of mission you're gonna go on. Like maybe gray is capture, kill is red, and farming's green. That's gonna be my guess without any kind of research. Just because I've you know been watching when I go out. Like whenever I do one of those um, uh, harvest tours, it's always green. I thought it was related to what you ate, but I'm not so sure. Uh, this is kind of a, a bummer. 
Oh, feline slugger. That is what we're looking for. Swimmer's nice, too, because they're going to be in the water. Slows down stamina depletion in water for actions that continuously drain stamina. That is beautiful. So maybe we forego... Oh, there's only one fresh. Oh, that sucks. I want all these to trigger. Except for maybe trainer. Yeah, I don't have I don't have Cha Cha, so. Please, 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 give me Slugger. I'll just take Slugger. Slugger will help me stun more often, which will be great during this fight. I got it once against Gobul, and it was amazing. Like I stunned him like four or five times, so. Double the essence. Oh, this is gonna be it. Yeah. We got swimmer. Good, we got the ones we wanted. We got Slugger and Swimmer, I believe. Yep. So less stamina when I'm in the water. Beautiful. And then increases the likelihood of stunning monsters. That's great. I mean, this is ideal, guys. We're doing good here. Uh, you know, I didn't I didn't make a lot of mega potions, but I think we'll be okay. Famous less words. I think we'll be fine, but we'll see. Get some more coffee here. All right. Let's get in here. See, we can pick up that trap. See how it's called Easy Trap? They give it a different name so it doesn't take up the same slot as your other shock traps. It's kind of nice. But, uh, one thing to be aware of though, when you're going through here, through your items, see how it says Easy Shock Trap? Don't use yours on, on accident. Oh, did I? Oh, wow. I made them, but I didn't put them in my pouch. Never mind. There would be a regular shock trap there, but uh, I screwed up. So, But just make sure when you're using your, your stuff like that, because the easy shock traps, when you finish the mission, don't come back to you. I'm going to hit this note up. You get some Pelagocyte ore from this, which I still need, I believe. Again, I did a lot of farming. And it wasn't bad. I don't know, man. Listening to music and just kind of vibing was like... It was actually kind of fun. And you know, it's it's kind of a small thing, but... Um, uh, I had five viewers, which is unusual for me. I mean, granted, you know, I just got back into it. But, you know, even in my peak streaming days, I think I had like 10 to 20 tops. And that's maybe being optimistic. So having five on day three or four or whatever was pretty nice. And I, I chalked that up to some of that being the um, the Monster Hunter community. Because some guy came by and dropped off, you know, like a raid of two people on me. So when I went to go back and, like, you know, follow him, I saw that uh, he was playing Monster Hunter. So that was, you know, that's super nice. Like, someone to see someone who has, like, no followers and be like, yo, I'm going to drop some on him. Uh, even if they don't know me, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just thinking right now, this fight is going to suck. These waters are way less open than the forest place that we were at originally. That's going to hit me. Oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. Look, I'm not getting stunned either when he hits me or, like, staggered. Like, he did that little slash. Actually, you know, in the, I may not have did it in the past either, but... I'm giving my armor too much credit here. Okay, he's not, again, he's not, oh, taking a ton of health off me. I forgot how much this guy is just super fast. It may be more aggressive, too. I don't know what they did for this mission. Or why they have you do two back-to-back, -back, which is kind of a bummer. I'm just hitting him wherever. Oh, nice headshot. I mean, I'd love to hit his head, but I don't think that's going to happen until we get on land. Just the reality of the situation here. Okay, stop it. Yikes. Okay, get my first aids ready. This is punishable. Dude, I was playing against Gobul. I played Gobul, like, again, like four or five times. I got pretty good in the water, at least against him. Granted, he's a big old target. And not super duper fast, like this guy. But I did get pretty pretty decent in the water. Now, I'm not going to say I love it, but uh, I mean, it wasn't bad. And, and honestly, just in general. Oh, did I pro Okay. 
See what I mean? Like I'm 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 hitting shots and getting headshots in the water before I probably wasn't getting many, if any. Is he leaving? No, he's not. I'm gonna drink a potion here. I kinda wanna be ready to go when he gets on land and not have to like waste time drinking or doing anything. Now see we still have green sharpness, that's what I'm talking about. What just healed me by the way? Oh no, that wasn't healing, that was the uh that was the oxygen, I'm assuming? Yeah. Makes the same noise, just like you get healed. So the main thing I hate about water is just like swimming downwards. It's just a pain. Up and down, like, it's just awkward. He's gonna hit me with his tail. Oh. Get that back. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. I think we're doing good here. That 100 extra damage, too, is nice. He's not hitting me. Or did he hit me? Did he hit me there? I'm surprised we haven't got our paralysis on him yet either, actually. Maybe he has high resistance to it? I don't know. We're just banging on him now. Uh, excuse me? Is he leaving? No. So far, so good. Looks like he's tired. He's either tired or enraged. I think he might be enraged, actually. Quite the opposite of being tired. Oh. Alright, he's just kind of, I don't know, wearing himself out here. Yeah, you're not being very successful with those attacks right there. Get hit. Yes. That's gonna hurt. Dang it, I forgot about that. I was kind of hoping I could, you know, stagger him out of it, but... Is he leaving? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck. No. Whew. I'm gonna get hit here for sure. Man. Surprised he hasn't left the zone. Oh, no. Okay, that is... Oh, I'm surprised he didn't combo me. We might be dead. Is he leaving? Oh, thank you, sir. Kind sir. We're gonna use potions. We're not gonna waste our megas when we have like I think I mentioned it before, so I apologize, but you wanna save your mega potions like during the fight. Cause they instead of chugging three, you can just chug one or two. So when you're not in a rush to, you know, chug a bunch of potions, just use your regular. And look, we don't even have to sharpen. I love this weapon so far. Granted, you know, I'm a little shocked we haven't got any paralysis yet. I feel like 140 prowess is a lot, but, you know, what do I know? Dang it. I don't like that we have lightning. That means we're going to be getting stunned a lot here, too. I might be stunned now, yeah. It's basically like two or three hits and pretty close to session. I'm going to be uh, stunned. I don't think those claws count. Like those little claw attacks he does, I don't think they count. One, two, let's get a headshot. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, what are we going for here? His head? Yeah. There goes our weapon. Oh, we missed the main one, dude. Oh, that was a, that was a disaster. What is he doing? Oh, he's coming out. Okay. We might sharpen real quick. Not that. Please, God, don't use that. If I use that shock trap and don't get him, we lose the fight. Because I cannot, uh, I don't, can't make a trap, I don't believe. Which is really stupid on my part. Like, if we're going to lose our... If I accidentally uh, click on that, like trying to heal or do something else, we're going to lose. He's tired. Fall forward. One, two. Ah, he keeps moving his head. Bug, please. Oh, man. We're not taking advantage of his sleepiness here. Granted, he's not being super sleepy. Oh, come on, dude. Tail's coming. Yikes. All right, look at me right here. Watch. Look at that. That was good. I didn't get the full headshot, but... We got one of them to hit. 
I'm gonna hit. Oh. Again, no paralysis though. Maybe this guy's just straight up. Here we go. Immune. Oh, we have Slugger too. This might be a, a, a KO. Yeah, that tail coming back around. One, two, headshot. Ah. That's hard for me to gauge for some reason. One, two. No. Oh god. Oh, he missed. I want the camera to back up a little bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Get out of here, bugs. Alright, uh, he might be enraged. Actually, no. We're good. Where is the, uh... Where's the paralysis? I mean, I've hit him enough to apply it, I would think. He must just be straight up immune. Let's get him with this. Oh, yes. That was good. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, one, two. Ah. Charge me? Yeah, yeah. One, two. We're just gonna go for body shots. Oh, he broke his foot. Okay, I'll take it. It'd be nice if we could crunch up his back as well. Wow, he was not down long. Alright. I like it. I like what's going on here. I like what's on display. One, two. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, maybe not. Oh, man. We're just breaking him up. You know, we did that the first time, though. I think we broke his chest and all that stuff, and he still was kicking for a while. But we're taking good advantage of this ground play here. Oh, I still got him. It was sloppy, but we got him. Ooh. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Paralysis. It just took a million hits at a time. Oh, yeah. This is, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're here for. Paralysis into KO, that's why I want this hammer. Now, I am a little disappointed at how often that procs. I was hoping to get at least two in this fight, but there's just no way. Right, because it, it goes up each time you get one, so... The amount of hits it'll take to get another paralysis is going to be a lot. And let's be real, I don't see it in the cards for us. He doesn't seem hurt, though. That's a little concerning, too. Oh, but you know what? Once he's hurt, though, I can capture him. And we're going to wait till he goes to sleep. For sure, because I don't want to waste this trap. Is he getting back up on there? No, he's just awkwardly sliding against the wall and hitting me. Cool. He's enraged too, by the way. We might just kind of chill out here. Yeah. Uh, that tail whack is amazing. I will get some attacks in here. Oh! Alright, we need to... You know, it looks like he hits harder when he's enraged, too. That might actually be true. Um, we need to sharpen a little bit as well. Tail Lash, good one to eat on. He's not doing much. He's not tired anymore, I think. Yeah, 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 we're good. What are you going to do here? Okay, he's going to dash. Turn his face around in front. Yes. Yes. Yes? Wow, that was great. See what I'm saying? We're getting a little bit the hang of the water. I'm not going to say I love it, but it's less annoying. Let's just put it that way. I'm going to hit here. Oh, nope, we're in that sweet spot. Oh, no. We, well, I think he kind of stunned us, but didn't hurt us. Oh, okay. He's going to charge? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a shoulder charge there. No, 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 no. I hate it when he looks at me. When he, like, sizes you up, that's terrifying. One, two, three. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, man. We're starting to believe. We can see the Matrix. Oh, well. Maybe not. Uh, we're gonna get Wombo comboed? No. What are the chances that he comes out of the water again, too? Other than the rest. Huh? 
Maybe we should just fight him at the top of the water. Ah. The water gets really weird. Okay. Okay. So here's the question. Where does he sleep at? Because I want him to eat. Oh, I don't want him to eat. But if I wait... To, like, Okay, here's the thing. I have to wait for him to go to sleep. But if I wait and he's eating, I'm wasting time. But if I know he's going to the place he rests, I can just charge into there. Or it's okay for me to wait, I guess I should say. Uh, big gold. I think it's, um... I don't think he's going to be here. Let me go ahead and sharpen that one over here. I don't think it's going to be five. My guess is he's going to sleep at eight. Oh, he's not eating either, so that's cool. You know what would be awful if I killed him instead of capturing him? I mean, I don't, I don't think I will, just because his health pool, you know. You've seen, like, they're never, when they are hurt, they're never that close to dead, apparently. Oh, hello. Let's get that back. Get that back. Head, head, head. Oh, back. Yes. We're getting good waxing. Okay. He may be going to a... We need to mark him soon, too, actually. He seems to be a, a one... A one zoner, though. Meaning, you know, he goes to the next zone and it's just one. He doesn't jump from, like... He doesn't go from 5 to 9 or 5 to 8. At least not that I've seen so far. Let's drink a potion, too. Again, I'm only doing this because I want him to sleep. And I'm worried if I come in too early. Okay. Because I don't... Oh, he's eating. Wait, is he? Yeah, he was. That's part of the... Not danger, but concern of waiting too long. What is he doing? Hello. I think he's enraged too, by the way. He's moving kind of fast. Well, no. I don't think that's going to be me. It is going to be me. Oh. Stay up. Okay. Or stay down. See, if you stay down like that, you're immune. So that's why, like, those uh, feline risers are good, because they can they allow you to stay on the ground for longer. Like, if you know an attack's coming, you don't have to get up. Because they will, they will pick you up after, like, X amount of seconds. Like, you can't just stay down forever and wait for the perfect opportunity to get up. But, you know, with feline riser, you can. Run. Oh, we still got him. I'm surprised by that, actually. He's gonna charge. You know, that, that uh, tail lash is way less dangerous in the water, I feel like. I don't know why. One, two. Okay, he's definitely going to eight, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll let him chill there for a bit. Maybe we can farm in here. Yeah, yeah. We'll let him sleep for a little bit. Hopefully walk up on him, place a sleep trap, and be done. That was pretty painless. Again, I think the armor upgrades allowed us to be more aggressive, having a stronger hammer. Prowess attack helped too. I mean, it didn't proc as much as I wanted, but man, when it did, you know, we got a knockout. It did what I wanted it to do. So, that's pretty cool. I don't think we need to drink a potion. Let's just get everything ready. Alright, just don't push Y. Where is he? He's up on the land. Watch out, dudes. Now, if these guys hit him and wake him up, I'm going to be a little mad. I mean, we should still be fine, but yeah, there he is. Oh, man, this is a great fight, guys. And hopefully we get Cha-Cha back after this. Excuse me, sir, I'm just going to put this... See if I touch him if he wakes up. Okay. I feel like in some of the other fights in this series, like, he woke up when I... You know, okay. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, granted, it took a lot of farming to get me to this point, but whatever. Let's see if we can carve up some of these guys real quick, too. Agia Crust is a sleepy boy. Immature Sponge, wasn't that what I sold for a thousand? Huh. Alright. Capturing is good, too. Actually, oh man, look at all those rewards. Man, we played that right. You might be able to craft some of his weapons in armor, actually. 
Shocker, Scale, Claw, Hide, Scale. I'm looking for rare stuff. The Hides and Claws seem to be pretty common. Scale, yeah, common, common. Horn is not. Shocker, I don't think is either. Okay, we got a good bit of stuff there. And we got... Expert level 1 is not good. Expert is like, increases your crit if you get like a certain amount. But that went really well, and that was the longest. You know what? I've noticed that, um... Anytime you get like an achievement, not an achievement, but uh... Like the record for longest, they usually give you a ton of rewards. I don't know if that's just in my head or what, but... Let's see if we get Cha Cha back, or if they tell me what's going on. What's new, kid? We just got a quest from someone who might have her have a bead on a missing Shakalaka Tyke. Yep, there we go. That kid's your partner, right? I bet the little squirt is counting on you to save him. Oh, he's okay. He got taken. The hard part will be dealing with the nearby Durambros. That's trouble waiting to happen. Hmm. Durambros has a tall like. Has a tail like a hammer. It'll give the thing a few swings before bringing the hammer down, so watch out. I think I know who this is. That's not its only trick. It'll also leap into the air and try to crush you from above. Move it or lose it when that thing jumps. End up in the impact zone and we'll be scraping you up your remains with a shovel. Jumping takes a lot out of the Dur Oh, okay, out of the Durambros, though. It'll sit tight for a while to collect itself. That's your chance. That's a good tip, actually. It'll be as helpless as a newborn feline, so be sure to hit it with everything you got. Cool. Alright. Well, there you go. That's where our, our chalk... Oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> Chalaka? No, Cha-Cha. Wow. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, what do we have here? A heart stick, heart sick hunter who misses his little buddy. I cannot read. I know that feeling. It hits you right in the tummy, right? Or maybe it's closer to the, what you call it? The pancreas? The spleen? Anyway, don't put a brave face on for my sake. Soak my shoulder with your sobs, Hunter. Cry, baby, cry. She's funny, actually. She's a little funny. Maybe this request from the guild will perk you up. They want you to hunt a Duran Bros. Talk about killing you with kindness. I wonder what in my depth and kind of heavy guidebook has to say on the subject. Whatever you do, don't let it crush you. Well, that's straightforward and kind of terrifying. Whenever you mind about that right now, I've got a hot tip. Some reported seeing your little buddy. Sweet. Apparently the quest client caught a glimpse of our kiddo in the same area as the Duran Bros. Small world, huh? Or maybe that is the fate. Destiny, the unfathomable clockwork of the cosmos. Or probably the kid just got lost. Anyway, I bet he's waiting for you. I see an emotional reunion in your future. Better bring a hanky. Oh, and maybe something that whooped that Dur Durambros too. Okay. Um. Oh, it's an urgent quest? That's weird. I noticed in this game, urgent quests don't necessarily mean... You're moving up to the next tier of quests, oddly enough. Um, you know what, though? I have a prediction. I don't think this is going to be um, Cha-Cha. I think it's going to be his friend. Cause I, I know you get two, just because I saw when I'm eating. It says it helps Cha-Cha and Kuyamba. Which I'm assuming Kuyamba is the second friend that you get to take with you. So, um, Yeah, there's that. And before we leave, though, let's check on the weapon situation. I know I just got a new one, but... Kind of want to see. Oh, we can make it. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. Um, look at that. The, the, I mean, the big benefit here, obviously, is better green. Because um, I'm always sharpening once I get out of green anyway, so the amount of yellow is kind of pointless. But also the big benefit, well, there's two. The slot. Granted, not so much early game. Um, the slots don't matter as much. I mean, they're still useful, but, you know, to some extent. But the lightning damage. Lightning damage applies with every hit. Where a prowess attack does too, but you don't get the benefit until you reach some meter. Lightning's not that same way, so... Basically, I'm doing damage on top of the 676. So if I'm looking for pure damage, this is better. But, you know, there's something to be said about prowess attack and getting in, like you know, four or five clean wax with a hammer. So I don't know. It's a trade-off. I don't know if I want to spend my stuff on that. I kind of do want to keep the gun lance up to date. Let's see if there's anything for him. I don't think so. 
Oh, I have to get the tail? And it's only it's only a long shot level one, so no, no thank you. That's a bummer. I wonder if there's anything else that we could do. Um I thought about actually the other day. I even spent time farming to get this great or this uh long sword, but here's the thing. Like there's so many people that play light sword or light sword, long sword. I think it's the most popular weapon in the game, so I was like uh, I don't want to put a playthrough up with longsword. You know what I mean? Like, there's probably a million of those. Granted, it didn't really influence my weapon choice too much. I've never played the hammer, really, which is why I went with it. I played a little bit of longsword. I mean, it's still not one that I'm super familiar with, but... Anywho, I mean, that's a great weapon right there. So I was I was tempted for farming, but I was like, ah, we'll, we'll wait off on that one. You know, I could see myself doing... Um, sword and shield. It's kind of an interesting play style. It's just like a lot of hits, a lot of quick hits, but uh, I don't know. There's there's actually combos too that matter. Like timing matters with the the sword and shield because you have to time your attacks more than you would with any other weapon. Like for me, I'm just hitting X and swinging, right? But this one, you have to like hold it, hit X, hit X, and then after you do this attack, hit X and A. You have to time it right and all this stuff. Um, like time it. Regardless of how the monster is moving, just to pull off the combo, like to actually do the attacks, you have, there's timing involved, so. I don't know. Anywho, I'm just kind of rambling. Well, I'm glad we got that out the way. I'm glad we found out what's going on with Cha Cha. I think it's a good place to end the video. Uh, again, guys, look for me out on Twitch. Um, and if you like rap music, like, come out. I feel like my selection is good. There's a lot of crap. A lot of crap rap. And no offense to people who like that kind of rap. I just, I don't know. I grew up in a different time where rap, I'm not gonna get into it here, but uh, if you wanna check out some cool rap and you see me on Twitch, I'll probably put rap in the title. So uh, if you see that, come on out, you can listen, say hey. Um, anywho, hope you guys are having a good one and staying safe. And, oops, I noticed last time I forgot to do this. There you go. And until next time guys, have a good one.